Well, to judge the impact of the latest developments here in Brussels, I'm joined by Karel Lanou, the chief executive of the Centre for European Policy Studies. Karel, thank you for joining us. There's a little bit of concern, actually, that the language has changed within the council because what they want now is that banks who fail the stress test go to the market before. Is this concerning? I think it's, uh, it's obvious because the circumstances certainly have improved as compared to a year ago uh, overall for the banks. So uh, also let's say there shouldn't open too much of a moral hazard to banks. So they have to make sure let's say that uh, it's clear let's say that if a bank is in a bad shape uh, that they should think first about going to the shareholders. But would they be able to go to the shareholders? Because if a bank actually fails these tests, why would then shareholders pay money to actually recapitalize them or refund them? Um, but it's not obvious that they can go to the authorities first either. I mean, the authorities have injected already so much into the banking system. The overall figure is about 12.5% of GDP. So uh, all budgets at national level are constrained. So, I mean, governments want to make sure, let's say, they can uh, take care of things as well. Now, we heard also from the German finance minister that he expects certain countries to possibly do some kind of fund like Germany did for the banks. Would this be a favorable solution? Yeah, but the problem is, let's say that, uh, first of all, not all banks are in favor of such a fund because it may open again, let's say, the, the way to moral hazard. Uh, secondly, uh, the solution proposed certainly here in Brussels at the moment is a combination of national funds. So there wouldn't be a European fund. So these leads to the question, let's say, what to do with European-wide cross-border banks? So would they rely on several funds if they are in problems? And then funds which are working with several, I mean, different funding mechanisms? So um, I just wonder how this will work. Uh, Carol, it seems that investors in the markets just want more information about how these stress tests will be carried out, what happens if they fail. Yesterday we had a little bit of detail on actually what they think should happen. What are you expecting from today? Are you hoping to have more news? I don't think we will hear it today. We'll hear it next week. I, I think they will probably agree amongst them how to do it because it's extremely important, let's say, to communicate this extremely well. They probably will agree, see amongst each other, let's say, to what degree the methods are similar let's say whole member states have advanced because it remains as you were saying a member state exercise let's say done by national supervisory authorities not by the EU the EU will overall supervise it but I think they will make sure that the synchronization works before they come to the market at the end of next week overall do you think these stress tests will be just as credible to those we had in the United States I hope they will be just as credible I'm not so sure the US uh, did this extremely well the problem is, let's say, that we may have different methodologies, different ways of communicating us, uh, still different ways of looking at banks, at, for example, differences in accounting standards and so on, which may make the difference not as comparable as it should be. So what does it mean actually for market confidence? Will the European Union as a whole actually get battered again because of uncertainty? Uh, I think the good thing is that they have decided to do it, let's say, because this has been on for more than one year. The US was April 2009. We are more than one year later and the, US has, uh, the EU has always delayed it. So the good thing is that they finally decided to do it. But they decided to do it within a very short time frame, about five to six weeks. They decided at European Council on the 17th of June to do it. Now they will do it on the 23rd of July. They want to release the results, which is a very short time. And we know that the kind of the cooperation between the supervisory authorities to align their methods has not probably not sufficiently advanced. So the important thing will be to give the impression, let's say, that overall the methodologies used are the same.